masquerade. I'm Suford Lewis, and if anything goes wrong here tonight, it's my fault. I have a great crew here tonight. They've been working all day, and some of them all day and all night for several days already. They are going to give you a great show, and the people who are entered are, well, I won't tell you. I'll just let you see for yourselves. It makes it all worth it. And. I would now like to turn over the podium to a man who needs no introduction. Thank you. So she didn't give me one. I've always wanted to be on the receiving or giving end of that gag. Finally got there. Good evening, I'm Pat Kennedy, your MC for this evening. Thank you. Okay, a couple of, of quick announcements before we start. Um, people have mentioned to you, no flash photography to be directed to the stage. Again, we... No, I have no smoking, and uh, if I can quit, you can quit. Thank you. Thank you. We ask that in the course of, of doing available light photography, please have the courtesy not to stand and block someone's view. Um, tonight's masquerade will be run according to the division system of novice, journeyman, and master. These system, this system has been devised in order to prevent relatively new and, uh, well, beginning costumers from having to compete with old established hands and, and give them an up. And uh, uh, a novice is a person who has never won a prize at a Worldcon masquerade. A master is a costumer who has won three or more awards above the novice level, and a journeyman is everyone in between. The guidelines for this are established by the International Costumers Guild, which is a membership organization of costumers uh, whose membership is open to all uh, for a nominal annual uh, dues fee. First of all, your judges for tonight. Leading off, Mike Sims. An intrepid media fan of eclectic taste and wide knowledge, he is a professional designer and a longtime fan artist. Please welcome Mike Sims. <laughs> Jeanette Holloman has been costuming at Cannes since 1976. Now a master, her most recent triumph is his, her historical interpretation, African Tudor, which took best in master class at Costume Con 7. Jeanette is a co-chair of Costume Con 9 in Columbia, Maryland in 1991. Costume cons are run by, and to some extent, for uh, people in the International Customers Guild. Patricia Mercier Gill is a master costumer. Patty is part of a team that won Worldcon awards of five years in a row. She has edited the future fashion folio for Costume Con 7 and has judged in various cons and is currently editor, editor of the Costume APA. Janet Wilson Anderson is a master costumer. Janet is currently Vice President of the International Costumers Guild, past President of the Costumers Guild West Chapter of the ICG, has won many awards in, in the Worldcon level and many other levels, I must, have, must interject, and has judged three previous Worldcons. We regret that she could not 
bring tonight her costume that won best in show at Westercon this year, but we hope to save that for a future World Cup. And our chief judge for tonight, Anne Lehman Chancellor, was a master costumer before the title was coined. Starting with Maleficent, which won at the first Norris Con 18 years ago. She took a profession from her fanish success and after various positions in stage and costuming design, is now assistant costume director at the Guthrie Theater in Minneapolis. Anne has been judging at the Worldcon level since Shai Khan 4 in 1982. Entry number one in the novice division, The Princess and the Mouse. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess who had all she could ever want, but she was very lonely. And only her, her only friend was her little white mouse. Unbeknownst to the princess, the mouse had fallen in love with her. He wished with all his heart to be human and court her at the upcoming ball. Princess and the Mouse. And that was Leslie Colton and Shane Russell. Costume number two in the Young Fan Division, Ulysses and the Cyclops. After Ulysses had blinded the Cyclops, the Cyclops became very angry. <laughs> Chet Katie and others, and Charles Katie, David Chalker, Matthew Sams, as Ulysses and the Cyclops. And folks, those kids made their own helmets down on the dragon's lair this afternoon. Yeah. Entry number three in the young fan division, the future empress of Mongo. That is Laura and Diane Kovalson, future empress of Mongo. Entry number four in the novice division, Lord of the Axe.
Entry number five in the novice division. From an original idea, Ariana Rackin, Raisin Hunter. Entry number six in the novice division, the Chernobyl engineer. Is one light? The summary of the challenge is I am as happy to tell you the truth about the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. It is untrue that Haiti is loving the radiation and they live in Chernobyl and Kiev and Sydney. These are lies created by the Western West to discredit the great clients of Soviet science and technology. To prove that these reports are lies, I have brought Olivia Mikhail Gorbachev on this tour of the West. Olivia <laughs> Gorbachev visited the Chernobyl nuclear power plant shortly after the line of malfunction, and as you can see, he has suffered no Everyone back as the Chernobyl engineer. Entry number seven in the novice division. Vincent. This recreation is based on the first season publicity outfit. The costume was designed by both Danny Lozinski and his wife Mary, who constructed it. The mask was made and cast by Danny, with makeup by Mary. The fur has been donated by Jan Jones, their cat. <laughs> Danny Lozinski as Vincent. Entry number eight in the novice division. S. Electra Hammond in a recreation from DC Comics. Is she the daughter of slain time star Guido Bertinelli or the child of Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle? In the end, it doesn't really matter. She is a woman who turned her hatred and fear of crime into a tool. A motivation to take up a costume and crossbow. She is the Huntress. Electra Hammond in The Huntress. Entry number nine in the Journeyman Division. The ancient house of the wizards has been so severely decimated by the sorcery wars that almost none of the heirs have survived to carry on the lineages. Of the two leading factions, there survives only the Dragon Lord's widowed daughter and the male heir to the Firebird House. To ensure peace in the land, there has been drafted an agreement. Returning from the betrothal ceremonies comes the handmaiden of the Firebird House and her new mistress, the heir of the 
betrothed the Dragon Lord's daughter. Entry number 10 in the Novice Division. This Alaskan mermaid has come ashore seeking diplomatic exchange with the corporate heads of Exxon. <laughs> Catherine Horn as mermaid with a vengeance. Entry number 11 in the Journeyman Division. Brian Boskin is Future Man, a recreation of the Sixth Finger from the Outer Limits. nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to the outer limits. I am now where man will be approximately one million years from today. Your race is too prejudiced to tolerate any differences from its own kind. I evolved beyond hatred or revenge. I could feel myself reaching that stage in the dim future of mankind when the mind will cast off the hamperings of the flesh and become all thought. Will you help me to go forward? May we not still hope to discover a method by which the whole human race could be rendered intelligent? The outer limits. Brian Boskin as Future Man. Entry number 12 in the Novice Division. A recreation from the movie Heavy Metal. In the eerie glow of the Econar Tarna and her mount fly forth to do battle. and Wesley Colton as Tarna from Heavy Metal. Entry number 13 in the Journeyman Division, Trudy Leonard as Scheherazade. of charming my lord husband with my stories, casting them like a net to catch his fancy and to keep me from falling to my death. But I am so tired, and I have no magic tale to tell this night. Ah, my pretty lamb, give me the illusion of the sun. Let me pretend that it is daylight but a little longer. If only 
only all my needs and wishes could be so easily fulfilled. A magic lamp at my command. A magic lamp? You have granted my wish. My lord, I have a wondrous tale to tell this night. Trudy Leonard as Scheherazade. <laughs> Entry number 14 in the Novice Division. The dragons from the shore of the Mak Ta Ocean are the preferred steeds of the Tamarind Knights. If captured soon after hatching and trained with diligence, these compact animals make excellent mounts. But even with extensive schooling, a dragon can retain a certain amount of stubbornness. To encourage them to resume their flight, only one ploy is known to work, a reminder of their birthplace, the beach. Van Hecken as the Mock Todd Dragon. <laughs> Journeymen and masters, look to your laurels. That was a novice division entry. <laughs> entry number 15 in the novice division. Duncan McCulloch, Gavin McCulloch, Warren Genoza, Patty McCord, and others present the Gravity Research Institute. So Gravity Research Institute. Duncan McCulloch, Gavin McCulloch, Walter Ganoza, Patty McCord, and others. Entry number 16 in the Master Division. Dread Warrior. by the ceramic sculptor Streamline Robot by Tony Buongiorno. Deborah Jones as Dread Warrior. Entry number 17 in the Journeyman Division. Soror Mariam, Sister of the Sea. A recreation from a painting by David Cherry.
Barbara Lynn Higgins as Soror Mariam. Entry number 18 in the Novice Division. Shocked tennis fans around the world watch this year's amazing Wimbledon competition while contestant after contestant continues to drop out as they are either eaten or inexplicably turned into Scotsmen. Look out, Steffi Graf, from Monty Python's Flying Circus. It's... At Le Mans from the planet Skyrun in the galaxy of Andromeda. That's Anne Davenport as the blamange from Planet Skyron. Entry number 19 in the Novice Division. Darth Vader. Dark Lord of the Sith, sits at the left hand of the Emperor, presiding over millions of cringing souls. Or he did, before George Lucas canceled his contract. The Dark Lord has become the Dark Knight. <laughs> Jim Grote as Darth Vagrant. We're going to take a little time out here for a commercial message. And now, this commercial message from Barbarian Express. Oh! You crummy barbarian! Put me down! I can walk! Come on, I'm a dancer! You big smelly lump! What do you think I am? A piece of bed? I buy, put me down. With all the fighting, drinking, and wenching we barbarians do, it's dangerous to carry gold. Heavy, too. That's why I carry these. Barbarian Express Traveler's Checks. Now, if they're lost on the battlefield, or stolen in the flesh pots of Shadazar, I can... Hey! Ah, no matter. I can get them replaced on the same day at any counting house, and so can you. So, whether you're trampling the Hyborian kingdoms under your sandaled feet, or just seeing the sight, don't carry gold. Carry Barbarian Express Traveler's Checks. Don't leave your homeland without them. By Crom! That was Jim Lowry and Lorinda Caston Lowry as Barbarian Express. Entry number 20 in the Novice Division. Costume designed and constructed by Maxine Miller. Entry number 21. Anne Livermore, aided by Mary. Robison and John Cryan.
versus Flight. Assistance by Mary Robison and John Cryan. There is no entry number 22. And there is no entry 23. But we do have an entry 24. In the novice division, Mar Marcia Goldoft, Dawn Fire. Marcia Goldoft and is Dawn Fire. Entry number 25 in the journeyman division. For those of you who have not had a chance uh, to spare from, from panels or other activities to go see the art show, uh, Roberta Rogau presents the art show. specially commissioned from the artist. The signatures were cross-stitched freehand. Roberta Rogau, The Art Show. Entry number 26 in the novice division, Poseidon and his bride, Madame Tsunami, creator of the waves. Rogers and William Rogers as Poseidon and his bride, Madame Tsunami. Entry number 27 in the novice division. Darth Vader's nemesis. Lord Vader! Lord Vader! Whee! Whee! Oops. What is thy bidding, my master? Rise, my friend. While I go play a little golf, I want you to attend my wife. No, no. No, please, my master. Nastuna, my little swamp bunny. No, no, not that, please. Oh, Daddy Pool. Come here, Daddy Pool. Let's go play in the mud jacuzzi. Daddy, come here, Daddy. No, no, back. Come on, no. Daddy, come on, Daddy. No, don't make me please, do this. Daddy, oh, why did you do this to me? Get away. Renee Whitney Simpson sees an Irwin Joe DePaula, Darth Vader's nemesis. And that was Emperor Palpatine, of course, Lord Darth Vader and the shrew of the universe, 
Nestina Palpatina. <laughs> Entry number 28 in the Journeyman Division. The Sacrifice. That was Heidi Hooper, Craig Walton, Debbie Walton, Mike Ventrala, Marty McRae, Wes Carpenter, The Sacrifice. Armor costumes were designed by Heidi Hooper. The armor was built by Heidi Hooper with help from Marty McRae, Wes Carpenter. Helmets designed and built by Wes Carpenter. Clothing designed and made by Debbie Walton. Demon costume designed and made by Craig Walton. Demon clothing made by Debbie Walton. Music written and performed by Mike Ventrella. Sacrifice. Entry number 29 in the journeyman division, Geraldine Sylvester and David Gordon. We bring a message. All of the worlds orbiting Lucifer are yours to use together, except Europa. My God, it's full of stars. Geraldine Sylvester and David Gordon from 2010, the year we make contact. Entry number 30 in the Novice Division. Deirdre Rittenhouse has Scraps, the patchwork girl of Oz. when brought to life, looked at herself in a mirror. She stood before it and examined her extraordinary features with amazement, her button eyes, pearl bead teeth, and puffy nose. Then addressing her reflection in the glass, she exclaimed, Wee, but there's a gaudy dame, makes a paint box blush with shame. Razzle dazzle, fizzle fazzle, how do you do, miss what's your name? She bowed, and the reflection bowed. Then she laughed long and merrily. Why, I'm thoroughly delightful. I'm an original, if you please, and therefore incomparable. Of all the comic, absurd, rare, and amusing creatures the world contains, I must be the supreme freak. Deirdre Rittenhouse, Scraps, a patchwork girl of Oz. Entry number 31 in the journeyman division. Beauty and the Beast, the final chapter. That's too bad. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, 31 is scratching. Somebody's lost their tape on them. Okay, we'll reschedule 31. We'll bring them back. 
damn neat prop, though, wasn't it? And number 32 is a scratch. Entry number 33 in the novice division, the frog prince. The scene opens with the beautiful princess playing with her favorite toy, a gold ball. Oops, my ball. Oh, thank you, frog. So, what shall be your reward? Would you like to drink from my cup? No. Sleep in my bed? No. Well then, what do you want? I just want to sing. <laughs> Leslie Coulton and Shane Russell, the Frog Prince. Entry number 34 in the Master Division, Wendy Ross in music box. Yeah. yeah. 36 in the master division. Julie Zetterberg, Gregory Sardo, Beneath the Opera House. <laughs> <laughs> 